Hey, what's up guys? We're playing some more Sly 3. Let's go ahead and grab up Sly. And let's head to the final mission. So, um, it is very early in the morning. I finally got basically a free morning until like 11 o'clock. So I'm like, you know what? Time to play some Sly Cooper. No, I didn't want to get into a battle, you guys. I'll still blast you, though. I'm just going to keep sailing away. But if they come close, I will start blasting. Okay, so I think we gotta go more toward the northern part here. Do I gotta go in here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think so. Alright, let's uh, do the thing. Battle stations, we're headed into action. It's gonna be tight sailing in here, Sly! Keep an eye on the rocks. Whoop. So what do I gotta do? I gotta blast them. Oakley dokley. Bop. Right, let's go ahead and give it a little twisty turn here. Haha, <laughs> you're trash. Look at look at you. Couldn't even hit the cannonballs. Another one, here we go. Bop. Do another turn maneuver here. We'll even actually be able to hit him in the back. Bro, sailing is easy, dude. That was Jack Sparrow, man. Look at this. Look, turn him around. Bop, you're trash. Let's go ahead and turn around one more time. Easy peasy. A little far away, but not like this game cares about how far away we are. I don't like this side shot. Because they'll be able to hit me too. But if we turn straight. Actually, screw turning straight. We'll just turn for another shot. Here we go. Bonk. A down. Ram him and jump on board. Bro, that was the easiest shit battle in my life. You're trash. Really, Cooper? A bad choice boarding a ship packed with over a hundred pirates. Sure, your cane is up to the task of cracking all our skulls. I don't know about all of you, but yours, I'm sure it can manage. Yeah. Restrain this man and keep your distance from the enemy vessel. This smells of lubber trickery. Take heart, boys. Been a while since we witnessed the good plank walking. See. Okay. Um, if there was ever a time to get him angry, this is it. When with his men around, he'll need to look tough. That's an insult to like ship. I thought a prissy sailor like you would take more pride in his ship. Oh, no. I take a great deal of pride working splinters into the feet of those about to walk my plank. Ha <laughs> ha. Just the extra touches that makes all the difference. His crew. Your crew doesn't like me much, Lafui. Where'd you find them? A charitable home for cross-eyed deviants? Oh, hear that, shipmates? The condemned man labeled you all wastes of skin. Ha, <laughs> how's that fit with you? Stick him! Tear the meat from <laughs> Stick his him! Let's drink his blood! It appears you're right, Cooper. They are deviants. Alright, that's creativity, Making apparently. Me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lefui. Not creative? I'm the smartest man in the seven seas, you... You slanderous scabbards! Seems a little rattled. That slanderous scabbard crack was pretty weak. Maybe I can play off of it. Um, <laughs> show him up. That's the best insult you can think of. I could do better in a coma while speaking a foreign language to deaf apes. Hm. Your wordsmithing is preposterous, presumptuous, and patently premeditated. Time to put that slack tongue to use, like giving the shark something to chew on. Oh, pirate talk. You got a real knack for pirate talk. Put two nonsense words together and pow, scary pirate name calling. Bah! You might be quick with the put downs, but who's got the hidden girl? Ha ha ha! Me! You'll never find her. Alright, I'm getting close. Time to really push the Penelope angle. Um, his attentiveness. <laughs> okay, this will yeah, get him. I suppose you'd have to keep her locked up. After all, if she ever got away, you'd never get a date. <laughs> it is true, I have a strong personality. But I've never had a problem with the ladies. Especially when I have a broadside aimed at their sailboat. Uh, 
Okay, I guess he's the... <laughs> Doesn't really care. Hidden? A fellow sharp as you couldn't hide a stick in the forest. I've got some skill in hiding my blade in lover's guts. Fancy a demonstration? My ability to keep her prisoner. I'm not worried about Penelope. A girl tough as that will free herself by tomorrow morning, then come and steal your wallet. Ha! That chickadee will never escape a skull keep. She's locked up in irons, and there she stays until she agrees to love me, despite all my faults. Now be the time sharks launched on your parts. You're the captain. Yeet. <clears throat> Time to pull one of these uh, Luke Skywalkers and the... Step on it, Murray. They've got Penelope locked up in the Skull Keep. All right, that's where we're going. The lovers getting away. Yeah, didn't uh, Star Wars do the same thing with Luke and when he was uh, about to get killed by um, Boba Fett? Right, he just like jumped, got the lightsaber from R two D two. Okay. Um. There we go. I was gonna say which part of the docks I'll make line. A run for Penelope. You keep the boat safe. We're gonna need it for the escape. Safe as a baby. Now get moving. Thanks, Murray. Designated DD. But there's a back route up the skull keep. Jump on the floating boxes. Penelope and I made a walkway all the way to the top. Okie dokie. Here I go. Later. I don't feel like fighting you. Just a couple more jumps. Man, I know those boxes not get washed away. I feel like they like stand perfectly still just for us. I say that and then I dip into the water twice in two seconds. Clearly a genius here. Let the let the genius work. Alright, Penelope, where are you at? Also, didn't Bentley in his PowerPoint say something about her being here? How did we not know that she was already here? Okay, not in there. Are you in here? What up, Penelope? Bro, she could have just jumped out the window. What's Penelope, the problem here? Is that you? It's time for a rescue. Lafui. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> well, alright. Let's just cap the series. Size dead. Alright, game's over. Think they can outmaneuver the smartest man on the seven seas? <laughs> Not hardly. First mate Jones. Aye, aye, sir. Take a battalion of your best men and raid the Cooper ship. There's sure to be some lingering rats about. You've got no mast, homie. We just destroyed it. Don't cut me off while I'm speaking, or I'll cut you off from breathing. The Cooper ship is making for the open water, sir. Oh, rats indeed. Make full stay with what mast we got. If they make it out to sea, we'll never catch them. Aye, aye, sir. Benley, slides all blown up, and the fleet's boat is gaining on you. Keep it together and meet me at the mouth of the harbor. If I can get into deeper waters, I should be able to give this guy the slip. But Sly! Keep it together. We're not done yet. Plus, Sly, dude, when has Sly ever been in actual trouble? He'll be fine. to see in this wind. Jones! I sir. Load the cannons and prepare to come about. If the breeze don't help, we'll fall back on iron and powder. Fire! Bop. Ooh. Bro, Bentley, beat him up. Start, start chucking bombs. He's got hella sleep darts. A boss there. Afraid you didn't quite make it out of the harbor. <laughs> Prepare to surrender your vessel. Sorry, Lafui, but I'm sure this water is deep enough. Deep enough to be your grave. Guru, crush her now. Hey, -ho. <laughs> we got the big boy. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's go, Guru. Good to see you too. I'll focus on bring Penelope. You take care of any pirates that might come up on deck. Use the left and right analog sticks to control your tentacles. Then hit the R1 button and L1 button to smash guys. We'll do, brother. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, I need to go the other way. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. The controls are, are inverted for this, which is very interesting. But it'll just take me like two seconds. To... No! 
No, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Yeah, it's gonna take a second to get used to, but um we're doing it. Honestly, I just I don't know why, but it's this is oddly satisfying, like the little slap and the I, I can't explain it, but it's just I can't stop hitting R1. It's just very, very satisfying. Oh, okay. One third of the way done. We got this. Also, where are all these pirates? Oh, okay. I'm like, are they just like appearing out of nowhere? But I see them. They're coming out of that little hole at the back of the ship. Bop, bop, bop. Also, you'd think after I've smashed like 30 of these guys, they'd be like, um, we should probably like, try something different. But, um, <clears throat> I'm glad they're not because this is kind of fun. Bop, 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 bop. I got you. Not gonna lie, this uh, giant squid thing is kind of goaded. It's always my, one of my favorite parts of the game, just because I don't know. I mean, I'm sure most people do, but I have like a really weird fascination with like large sea creatures. Again, I think most people do because it's just what? How could you not? But anything involving krakens or giant squids or giant sharks or like really deep sea creatures is absolutely like. Fascinating. Let's go, Bentley. Rizzer up. Bop. Oh, okay, now I'm kind of starting to slack here. I'm letting them get close. Nope. We haven't even let, let Bentley get hit once. Ew, why they put her in that dress? Call up your squid as a girl gets it. Back off, Guru. I'll deal with this guy. I that you have. Set me up to think I'm not smart yet. Then pull me into the deep water with this beast. Make him eat make him eat a bomb just. You're mm. the cleverest man I've ever had the pleasure of beating. Are you getting the sly? Yeah, I've got some perspective on the situation. Avast! Guru! Get Sly! He can't swim! Hi, shipmate, but who'll be helping? You. Nobody touches that turtle but me. Me pirate flower finely blooms, yet he'd favor this cripple over me, the smartest man of the seven seas. <laughs> oh, I do like smart guys, and he beat you at your own game. You tell me who's more intelligent. Be still my heart and quickly blade. Tis time for a duel. You and I'll make the mating dance of death. Alright, time to get really high, so it's very suspense suspenseful. Alright, Bentley, get up, bro. Come on, stop faking it. Ah. Okay. Bro, stand still. Ah! Okay, apparently I'm trash with this. My pirate flower, but short and bloody. All right, here we go. Try number two. Here we go. One more time. One more time. I always forget that for some reason he does four swipes sometimes, sometimes three. I still find it funny that he gets absolutely gassed after like three swipes. Like, how do you get tired after three swipes? Does this man not go to the gym, or does he just spend all his time? I don't even. I don't know. What do, What do you do for fun, Lefui? What is your definition of fun? Because clearly it's not working on your short skills here, considering you get gassed after, like, who swipes at me? Is that sword really heavy? Or you just got, like, I guess he's, like, a bird, right? He's got, like, no arm strength. Alright, here we go. Bop. Bop. It's hard already? Here we go. Alright. That's what she said. Right, I'm pretty sure he's, he's gonna start mixing them all in, right? So I gotta go down, jump, jump, bop. Oh, okay. Apparently, I, they wanted the other attack. Okay, seems like that one was correct. Okay, totally messed up that one, but it's okay. Okay. Wrong one again? Stop 
I always hit the opposite one of what I need. Which is so frustrating. Dude, how do I keep missing that 50-50? I know I'm supposed to tell by the Q. There we go. No! <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> it's incredible, actually. There we go. Okay, so when he's leaning over the edge, that's when I need to hit the triangle. So, okay, so that... Okay, maybe... Bro, I don't know, man. I'm a terrible pirate. There we go. Nope. That one. I swear. I know you guys are going to call me dumb in the comments. Maybe I am. I don't know. But I know I could very easily learn which stance is what hit. To be honest, though, I don't feel like figuring it out. It's almost funnier, me winning, knowing absolutely nothing of what I'm doing. I think that's even funnier. Bro, he's got beaten by Penelope. I don't know about that one. I think I think we gotta take take that title away from you. Just gonna be honest here. The fee was beat, outsmarted by our own resident genius, who'd done more than just rescue a team member. He'd won himself a girlfriend. Hey. -o. It was nice to hear him talk. They'd have these conversations the rest of us couldn't even follow. As far as I could tell, they were made for each other. Dimitri was in love too. The new diving gear had gone to his head. We were informed that he'd be our frogman for the Cooper vault job. Not that any of us had even asked him. For the first time in memory, Carmelita didn't show up and cart everyone to jail. Oh well, I'll send her a postcard. You know, I'd hate to have her feel left out. All right, we got Frogman on our team. Let's go. Also, is he a frog? He doesn't look like a frog. He looks like a salamander or something. So I don't, he can't be a frog, right? Or are they just like making a joke on his amphibious nature? I don't know. Honor among thieves. Okay, so. Here we go. Honor among thieves. Start episode. Episode six. these memories they just bring me back to the same place getting crushed to death in the fist of some genetics experiment gone wrong not the way I thought I'd go out shame really now that we've got this big gang gang more like a pack of misfits either way we've become a team we had some real potential there could have pulled off some big jobs we were so close. The door to the Cooper vault was opening. But that Dr. M. If there's any justice, he'll get his. I just wish I'd seen what was in there. A stockpile of my family's accomplishments. Would I have measured up? What would I contribute? Would my father have been proud of me or ashamed? Funny, but... Here I am at the end, and suddenly all I can think about is what a coward I've been towards Carmelita. Never took the next step. Looking at Bentley and Penelope, it's clear what life is about. If Carmelita was here, I'd tell her straight out how I feel, and quit playing around. Put our professional differences aside and see if we can make it work. But that'll never happen now. I can't take this crushing. Just let the pain stop. Dude, and all of a sudden, I remember why I love this game so much. So much goofiness in 1 and 2, and even most of 3, but... See, it seems like that where... Like, I, don't, I don't even care what you say, but like... that One of the greatest video game scenes of all time, in my opinion. Again, it, it fleshes out Sly so much compared to, again, all the goofiness. God, I love that scene. Oh, there's his uh, cane.
Lieutenant Gronk, get your squad together. We're about to see some action. Yes, ma'am. Lock and load, you apes. We're going in. Hold on, my tail. Up to do we gotta shoot him in do we gotta shoot monkey boy or do we gotta shoot the big guy in the head? Guess we'll just keep shooting monkey boy. Yo, the apes are going crazy. I guess we keep shooting. Let's keep moving. Whoop. I instantly jump in the water. So, you got friends. I got a shot. Where are you? Let's go, come with it. Kinda goaded. Oh, don't shoot Sly, you doofus. Yo, what in the, what in the world are you? Is that a crab lizard? Oh, yeah. I forgot Dr. Grimm's working with, like, mutants and genes and stuff. Yeah, I don't. Out of all the things, Doctor M, you could make, you chose crab, crab lizards. They're an wait, an alligator crab. Doctor M really do be. He really is evil, considering he made those things have to live. Those things have to live the rest of their lives knowing they're an alligator crab. That's that's gotta hurt. Nope. Oh, we're definitely gonna give him like a concussion. This man's gonna not have many brain cells left. I'm gonna fry them all. You harpy wits! Why are the police invading my home? I'm here to see that justice is done. Justice? I'm the victim here, defending what's mine from thieves. Looked to me like you were attempting to murder that man. That man, please, you know this is Sly Cooper. You're as transparent as you are narrow-minded. Cooper is a criminal. I'm here to bring him and all lawbreakers to justice. I'm no lawbreaker. It was all self-defense. First things first. Put Cooper down and we'll talk terms. Sorry, Madam Cop, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Although, I can throw you a long, long way. Go and smash that woman. Crush her bones to paste and toss her in the sea where no one will ever find her. Alright, time to 1v1. I can't believe this idiot just brought it to me. <laughs> Poor fool, he looks just like his father, and he's just as dead. Not clan, that was kind of zero brain on the monkey's part. He, he potentially just lost the cane. He's still breathing? He's alive! Hang in there, pal. You're gonna be okay. We'll get you back to the ship and patch you up. I don't, I don't think you can patch up a crushed lung, homie. Or, like, yeah. Hey, Bentley, are you a surgeon? I'm nah, sure I'll be fine, but. Fly's gonna make it, although he suffered a major concussion. That's it? If he were up and about, I'm sure he'd want us to retrieve his After that, day. all he got was a concussion? Jump in, do this swim, and take it. Legit, eh, hey, my main man, bro? Won't be that simple. That's an electromagnetic buoy. Dr. M has set him up all around the island to snag approaching metal bows. We just lucked out that we came here in a wooden ship. She's right. Get too close and your diving gear will magnetize to it. <laughs> That's an excellent idea, Guru. You're the only member of the team who doesn't carry metal equipment. If you can convince some of the local sharks into joining you in an attack, it might be enough to break the buoy. All that time. All right, we got our resident Jump homeless man. Let's go. Need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to jump from shark to shark to possess them all. After you've befriended them once, they'll follow wherever you go. 
Okay, but how do I... Oh. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. So I need to go... Bonk. Bonk. Lead that pack of sharks to the buoy. Heads up. Looks like Dr. M has installed an automated marine Woo. defense system. Well, that's not very nice of him. Oh! Oh, my bad, shark. Okay, where do I gotta take this, though? Oh, okay. It literally tells me if I, if I had two brain cells, I'd be able to figure it out. You'll need to jump off and get on top of the buoy to activate it. That'll drive those sharks into an attack frenzy. Nice work. Find some more sharks and keep at it. Can I take one of these? Okay, good. Here we go. Right, come here, sharks. Ooh, I, I no shot, dude. I wasn't even anywhere close to those. All right, let's see if I can actually. <laughs> they literally pop up right when I try to dodge. I am. Ooh. Okay, it's okay. We're jumping to this next shark anyway. This shark, bing bong. All right, let's head back to the buoy. I feel like we're on some like episode of this is a Bear Bear Grylls show. Maybe I'm like the Shark Whisperer, Doctor Pole type. Yes, you're a force of nature, aided by nature, naturally. I definitely think. Guru's had, like, the sickest... Oh, okay, noted. I'm not supposed to step in those. Guru's had the sickest missions. Like, he's actually taken over a Kraken. I feel like he's just gotta be, like, the most overpowered character, right? <laughs> gotta be. Alright, that should be all of them. I feel like I'll, on a one-on-one... -on -one, I feel like he's just gotta be the strongest, right? Like, who is the strongest Sly Cooper character? Well, like, if we're talking about strongest, I'm probably Panda King, right? Or is Murray st strength-wise? I feel like Murray's probably stronger, but Panda King is bigger. So then we got like a one-on-one -on -one with Murray and Panda, and then who's smarter, Penelope or Bentley? I'm assuming Bentley, but maybe that's just sexism. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, we gotta go all the way around. Alright, let's see. Let's try to do this again without failing. By far, the coolest character, now I don't even think there's competition, is definitely Dimitri. Bro, name someone cooler than Dimitri. I love how he's got all these defenses in the ocean. But he never knew what he was fighting against in the first place. So he just kind of set these up at random, which is hilarious. Ooh, okay, I don't think I actually grabbed a new fish right there. And that is not what I meant to do. Okay, I don't know how many, which one of these I've grabbed, so I'm just going to... I think rotate my way around all of them. Am I good? Nope. Okay, I have not grabbed all the fish. All right, I think now I'm good, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That actually gave me a slight jump scare. I just, like, dozed off for a hot minute. Did not expect... Oh! I messed up the jump right there, but not like it matters. Each time we get a new shark, we basically get a new life. Well, there goes the cane. See ya. And so I'm talking about Dr. M. He he blew he accidentally threw the cane into the ocean. How are you supposed to find it now? Remember? 
I'll have Fidelity prep Dimitri for the job. I'm not really sure. Don't talk like that. No one else could have got the cane off that magnet. You're a credit to the team. Just leave your shark friends behind. They freak me out. Yeah. Guru, you're my favorite homeless man. There's no better homeless man than you.